Good afternoon and welcome back to my garden. It is Sunday, April 11th. What is the deep mulch guy doing pulling all the mulch back down to bare soil, you might ask? <laughs> well, that's part of the plan. You want to keep your mulch spread out, that way you keep the weeds down, and you also improve the soil. But we're going to do something special this year. We haven't grown corn in quite a while. Raccoons seem to know right when it's ready to harvest, and they come in and make a mess of it. But this year, we're gonna plant three sisters. And three sisters, from what I understand, need sort of a sort of a hill, a little rise. So we're gonna make that out of our compost in our deep mulch. So we're still gonna use the deep mulch. We're gonna use our cold compost. We're gonna go ahead and plant some three sisters. So come on, let's go ahead and get another wheelbarrow. It's not gonna be a real big pile, but it's gonna be enough. Three sisters. You haven't heard of three sisters? Corn, squash, and beans. The beans fix nitrogen, the squash shades the ground, and the corn has, acts as a trellis. Three sisters. The indigenous population used this for eons, and it worked out really well. And right here on this corner, some of the layouts that I've looked at shows a circular mound. We're gonna try to be a little traditional. We'll use a circular round, a little square foot gardening, and we still have our deep mulch to cover it with, to backfill on top. So let's get this spread out and get some seeds in the ground. So we just want a little crown in the middle. And, we're, and we are down to bare soil here. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, let's plant. We're gonna go ahead and divide this up into quadrants. And we got a couple different kinds of corn that we're going to plant. I found some Cherokee Glass Gym corn. This one is called, get ready for this, Waylon Chili's Carls. Anything with my name on it is going in my garden. Alright, we'll see what we get. This ought to be interesting. These are supposed to look like glass when they come up. And I'm going to plant quite a few of these. I actually got two varieties, but this one says Wayland. They are pretty. And from what I understand, a Cherokee farmer developed these by selecting the prettiest kernels and planting them in this field every year. The ones that showed most like glass, putting two seeds in each dent. I'm not really selecting colors, I'm just randomly putting them in here. We'll see what we get. Go ahead and make a dent going around here. And we'll put some beans. All right, so we got that. Wayland is in the ground. Now once again, the square foot method, you just make a dent a couple inches apart. Make it look like a dice, I guess. This method allows you to get quite a bit of food in a very small area. By doing it in quadrants like this, we can manage where we're growing what. So we'll have the corn in the center, beans around the outside to trellis up the corn, squash to cover the ground. We'll only put a couple squash plants because they're going to get quite big. And then we'll do a squash around the outside. By the time the potatoes are done, these won't be shading them out, so I'm not worried about that. Glass Gym corn. So this is a this is another variety of that glass gym that had my name on it. So we'll see if this is any better, worse, or not. And see, this stuff is very pretty. It is shiny. So we'll see what we get. You don't want to forget where you're at with the planting. 
Don't let one get away. We'll go ahead, go around the outside. with our beans now if these trellis like they're supposed to we ought to have some pretty good beans come fall let's save those okay now just lightly cover it over and in a couple weeks when these are up we'll come out and we'll put our squash in just lightly scatter a little bit of the dry grass Dry leaves right over the top. Now we've got four kinds of cow peas here. Got the purple one there, regular one there. Gotta love the notes when you're sharing seeds. I love black eyed peas. I saved these seeds from a 20 foot long vine. All right, Leon, let's see what we do. Make sure they have soil contact. Should be okay. These I planted right here. The almanac said would rot. And you know what? I believe they did. Nothing came up. So, let's try this again. See, nothing came up there. There's nothing there. That's, that's sort of disconcerting. But that soil is still beautiful. Cowpeas, polecat, a.k.a. Arkansas Razorback. They will climb anything, and they can go rogue. Grass. Grass. There you go. Now to recap, we've got four different kinds of corn, one with my name on it, four different kinds of cow peas, one that will go rogue. That didn't take very long. Well, these peas seem to be doing okay. I don't know why those other ones didn't come up. I'm going to go get a bowl of ice cream with red buds on it while I still have red buds. Then I'm going to spend the afternoon helping a friend clean out around their outbuildings. In the meantime, Take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.